By the powers vested in me as Vice Chancellor and Principal, I hereby constitute this assembly as a legal congregation of the University of Pretoria. During this assembly, degrees and diplomas with all the associated rights and privileges will be conferred and awarded to the candidates whose names appear in the program. We request all of you to join us in silent prayer or meditation to give thanks for the achievements of our students. As Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of Pretoria, I extend a hearty word of welcome to you at this virtual graduation ceremony. I would like to welcome the Dean and the Deputy Dean of the Faculty, along with all persons to whom degrees and diplomas will be conferred and awarded to. We also welcome families, friends and spouses to this virtual graduation ceremony. This is the third virtual graduation ceremony the university has held in the past year, after we were obliged to depart from the traditional graduation format as a result of COVID-19 pandemic, which as you know, has made large physical gatherings impossible for the time being. Our first virtual graduation season commenced just 10 days after the declaration of the national state of disaster towards the end of March, 2020. It was memorable, not only for that sobering reason, but also for a more agreeable one. During those first virtual ceremonies, the University of Pretoria conferred 11,001 qualifications on graduates in absentia. This was a record number for the university and one of the largest graduating cohorts, if not the largest in South Africa at the time. I'm delighted to share with you that the autumn 2021 graduation season is now breaking that record. In this graduation season, we'll be conferring a total of 11,424 qualifications, including 198 doctorates and 1,289 master's degrees. This is a great achievement, especially in these uncertain and unpredictable times. Such an achievement is simply magnificent. I mean this on two levels. One is the outstanding personal effort you put into persevering with your studies when normal study routines and methodologies had suddenly been upended. And I'll say more about this later. The other level concerns the collective contribution of this graduating cohort to the skills of our country and more broadly our continent. Compared to the rest of the world, South Africa and Africa as a, as a whole a very low graduation rates per capita, a state of affairs that perpetually widens the skills gap. The fact that we at the University of Pretoria are now graduating such a large number of cohort of graduates is good news indeed for the development of our country and the continent. But this welcome injection of skills is not only about numbers. Just as important are the kinds of skills and the quality of skills that you, our graduates, will be bringing with you into whatever career or study pathway you choose to pursue from this point. For instance, the University of Pretoria students once again excelled in the ITC, the initial test of competence, which is the first professional exam for prospective chartered accountants. In November 2020, students from our Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences again achieved first position in South Africa. This feat followed on the first place we achieved in the January 2020 ITC, when an unprecedented seven out of the top 10 students in the country were from this university. In addition, UP won the 2020 Chartered Institute of Management Accountants SEMA Prize Winner Excellence Award, as well as the Institute's Global Excellence Award at its first ever virtual award ceremony. These awards recognize university partners with top performing SEMA students in case study exams, as well as university partners that have achieved the highest pass rates for SEMA exams. What makes these accomplishments even more special is that our students excelled despite the disruption of having their ITC exam deferred from June 2020 to November 2020 owing to lockdown regulations. Well done to everyone of you who was part of this incredible effort. 
Not content with notching up all the accomplishments I've just listed, we are also making history. One of our PhD graduates, Dr. Tumeka Mashova Raimudzisi, is the first black female chartered accountant to receive a PhD in leadership. This is a noteworthy achievement, testament to your commitment and dedication. Congratulations. If time permitted, which it unfortunately does not, there will be many other examples of achievement under pressure that I could share with you as testimony to the resilience and endurance of the human spirit. In my book, every one of you has shown resilience and endurance during unprecedented turbulence and upheaval. The university is proud of you all. All your hard work, tenacity and resilience has helped to get you to this point. Yes, the Institute certainly played its part. As the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Investor of Pretoria, I know what efforts and energies were invested in keeping the academic program going and enabling our students to succeed during the most protected campus closures in our history. But what stands out for me is not the effort UP made in rolling out laptops and remote learning technologies, so much as the skills you, our graduates, gained from the experience. For our graduates to make a difference in society, they need to be creative, flexible, resilient, entrepreneurial, and collaborative. I can state with confidence that this graduating cohort has these qualities in abundance. They will serve you and our country well. The university too has learned a lot from this pandemic. As you know, our preferred mode of teaching and learning before this health crisis has been the hybrid approach, a delivery model that makes use of traditional classroom-based learning tools supplemented by online and technology-supported activities. On the strength of our experiences online during this pandemic, we are reimagining the modes of teaching and learning that we are adopting for the future. Teaching and learning are going to be interesting spaces for innovation, creativity, and experimentation. Above all, we aim to provide a rich interactive experience that is educative and not just instructional, and which results in well-educated, skilled, socially engaged and sensitive graduates eager to transform our society, our continent and the world. We also aim to enable students to become graduates who can engage in lifelong learning where they unlearn and relearn. In this way, they can navigate the emerging world of work that is an outcome of multiple disruptions of the life and the world as we know it, including the disruptions caused by rapid technological change. In the near future, we'll be launching a center for the study of the future of work. Allow me to touch briefly on the disruptions you, our graduates, experienced during your studies in 2020. I know that all of you were affected by the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic while you were studying. However, what I and my colleagues at the university do not necessarily know is what trials and tribulations you individually and personally experience while completing your qualification. We do not know the, what difficulties and distractions were going on around you while you were studying for that crucial test or writing or revising the next chapter of your thesis or dissertation or what additional responsibilities you took on in your living space and with regard to your loved ones while soldiering through your year of completion. Were you perhaps one of the many South Africans separated from loved ones as a result of traveling restrictions and border closures? What personal sadnesses and sufferings and hardships did you endure as a result of COVID or otherwise in that most crucial time of your studies? Did you suffer loss of family and close ones, friends, fellow students, or colleagues? My colleagues and I cannot know what your lived experience was as you told to complete your degree, diploma, or certificate. What we do know without a shadow of doubt is that your success is hard won and deeply deserved. Earning a qualification from the Investor of Pretoria is an achievement to cherish. Earning qualifications in the time of COVID-19 is in a class of its own. 
you, together with the 11,001 graduates of autumn 2020 and the 1,380 graduates of summer 2020, are unique. You have succeeded, and we celebrate your achievement today. On behalf of the broader community of the University of Pretoria, please accept my heartfelt congratulations. The graduation ceremony is your moment of triumph to savor, celebrate, share with family and friends, and remember for the rest of your life. We hope to one day return to physical graduation ceremonies where graduates can walk across the stage in the presence of family and friends and take photographs. For now, virtual graduation ceremonies such as these play an indispensable role in your journey with the university. This is because a virtual graduation is a legally constituted assembly that enables you to formally graduate so that you can receive your certificate and use it to open whatever doors you have intended to unlock, whether in the form of further studies, course at the University of Pretoria, or in your career or profession. May it lead you to more opportunities and serve you well. Turning now to the future, in the same way that you and your fellow graduates are on the stage of the next stage of fulfilling your dreams for your life, so is the University of Pretoria. As I briefly mentioned earlier, we've been using the challenges presented by the global health pandemic to begin rethinking, reimagining, and repositioning the university itself. The university can play an essential role in co-creating the country and continent we want post-COVID-19. Here at the University of Pretoria, we see an opportunity to be one of the agents and drivers of change in Africa and globally, finding and deploying innovative ways to address poverty, unemployment, inequality, and social injustice. UP, as you know, is a hub for new ideas. When it comes to COVID-19 research, we are involved at multiple levels. We are researching genome profiles to be able to identify who in the population is at higher risk of contracting fatal viruses and other diseases. We are also researching how people in society behave during a pandemic. Because if we don't understand this, we cannot manage the spread optimally. We have participated in international COVID-19 clinical trials and produced sanitizers, face masks, and face shields. Our Faculty of Health Sciences quickly incorporated COVID-19 into the primary health care curriculum. This is how we will need to respond to pandemics in the future, with rapid responses focused on multi-sectoral interventions. For example, our university is the only representative from Africa in the new University Social Responsibility Network, an international group of 16 top universities. And last year, the Times Higher Education's impact rankings rated UP among the top 100 universities in the world for its social and economic impact in three categories based on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, otherwise known as the SDGs. These are quality education, industry, innovation and infrastructure, and peace, justice, and strong institutions. We envisage a better, more sustainable world characterized by prosperity, genuine democracy, peace, equity and equality, social justice, and ethical use of all resources. And we are convinced we can co-create this just new world through high-quality hybrid teaching together with transdisciplinary research and social engagement that is impactful. And of course, this co-creation must harness the collective expertise, energies, and goodwill of our family of alumni, among whom you, the season's graduates, can now be counted. As the new alumni of the Investor of Pretoria, remember the values from UP to always strive for excellence, persevere, respect everyone, be creative, innovate, embrace diversity, grow, be a lifelong learner, be kind, and make a difference every day. This is what makes the UP way of life. I appeal to you to be part of our quest to rethink, reimagine, and reposition the investor Pretoria, and in so doing, contribute to the co-creation of the Africa we want. Please take the next step by downloading the UP Connect Graduate app. 
keeping you connected to your alma mater and offering access to the many opportunities available to our alumni wherever in the world you are. Remember to always keep in contact with the alumni office at UP and let us know when your contact details change. No matter where you end up in the world, remember that you are part of the UP family, whose overarching strength is its diversity in terms of staff, students, the programs offered, and areas of research that define its excellence. We are an institution on its way to becoming a beacon for demographic diversity and inclusivity, a future-oriented and focused university that is a driver of social change. Congratulations on your graduation and enjoy the celebrations with your loved ones. Take pride in the sense of achievement that comes with knowing that you have excelled against all odds. I hereby confer and award all degrees and diplomas in absentia with the associated rights and privileges to all candidates whose names appear in the graduation program. Bachelor of Commerce in Accounting Sciences Tina Bowman Stefan Siliers Brandon Dick Tandega Quadiso Carmi Jubert Rector Chapana Armand Greer Lebu Lisinia Philippus Lindy Tibello Litedu Lirato Marshall Malebu Machete Sadia Mohammed Ali Palisa Maleme Kodani Malumeza Sanelisiwe Mshanzi Fatuani Mbofeni Kolega Mnimba Tsepo Mulaking Megan Moore Mashao Mokari Nontlantla Ngobeni Khonzi Nkabinde Notando Nonyane Mivuyo Nkati Fano Nzandeni Tumisang Pampa Given Ramafotole Mohao Simenya Shanae Steinberg Khunzi Tsahane Sipo Kyobeka Charl van der Merwe Stefanus van der Waard Morgan Ecker Nicholas Adramitoglu Azima Ali Jody Ullman Diago Alves Shane Basson with distinction Marcel Becker Albert Blankson Carla Buetes with distinction Eshai Boucher Jacques Brits Jeanry Brains Blaise Carmichael Kelly Chetty Kerusha Chetty Ritu Mezzi Chilwane Rumbizae Cherombe Mpo Chwene Powell Kitchon with distinction Yaquibus Clarsen Emma Jo Clark Celine Kurze with distinction Mene Collier Jade Cragen with distinction Ilanri Krokamp with distinction Almay De Beer 
Daniel De Castro, Yannine De Clark, Jean De Villiers, Timothy Dinsham, Nikhil Dunarain, Caitlin Diesel, Andre Dipenor, Kanisile Lamini, Bianca Duplessis, Amanda Dutoy, Natalie Duligal, Arnu Duvenache, Alexander Jebelen, Armand Arvia, Hans Peter Fechter with distinction, Heinrich Ferreira, Kyle Fyford, Tamron Firstbrook, Buipilo Hanachomo, Kamgelo Achafane, Ismail Ghani, Banele Gaza, Dylan Geldenes, Jamie Goberts, Terry Golding, Daniel Goodman, Devin Goodrum, Sadia Gulam, Alex Gould, Damien Gavender with distinction, Livona Gavender, Christopher Grabau, Christian Griffiths, Michaela Grobler with distinction. Mazui Gumete Desire Guebu Gerrit Hasenjager Bradley Haverman Henku Heffer Trevor Hill Kobile Shubi Pai Chia Ho Kyle Holder Francois Hichu, Kirsten Hutchison, Muza Huenya, Vian Janssen van Rensberg, Kyla Janssen van Vieren, Sean Jolliffe, Elisma Joubert, Jan Joubert, Dylan Jukes, Dinesh Kalichuran, Irene Katengeza, Leandri Kelly, Franz Kaiser, Tiani Koza, Mzingaye Kumalo, Sibusisiwe Kumalo, Sharnai Kilian. Esti Kilian, Lerato Kiti, Sharnay Klopper, Jerome Klopper, Edzani Kone, Pierre Kotze, Derek Krier with distinction, Mark Krier, Ruan Krier, Cabello Kuduntuane, Joyce Kuh, Nicole Labaskachni, Katane Libize, Junal Levin, Ilandri Lorenz, Iona Low. Desiree Low with distinction. Giselle Lubber. Aaron Lyle. Gavaza Mabasa. Sarah McKenzie. Sarah McNamara. Zianda Matia. 
lesiba mafikeng ngobile makakula kulofelo mahapa with distinction shatani makwaje call makoni vanessa maluleke nokuthula maposa dina martin with distinction sean marks dylan mare mapizi masha evidence mashabela zintle masina mamello masia majagatata masugu zibusiso maqase tandazo mbonani bonisani mchavi tandogazi mhlazi jabulisa mhlane tiane mhlongo Stephanie Miles Abigail Mills Kevin Mitchell Sfiso Nkize Kineilwe Mako Unati Mkabiza Mpo Mkwaledi Estal Modi Kineilwe Molomo Lisedi Montuedi Masiho Moraka Alexandra Murray Tepang Mutaung Dulotulo Mutena Daniel Mutsuane Lovness Msipa Busisiwe Mtembo Mpilo Mtembo Libuani Mudao Maria Mukwebo Tamrin Murray Akila Naidu with distinction Richard Nodia Kineilwe Ndlovu Pelonomi Ndlovu Kharat Nao Vuhavo Nelofule Mudalo Nechituni Tukelo Ngobeni Clarice Nidnauber Bukosi Nkanyana Ritumezi Nkosi Bangobile Nkuna Pedro Nogueira Shiko Nung Michaela Norkia Jennifer O'Connor Grant O'Donoghue Simon Oberhoster Mark Anton Joseph Palmer Vyakta Pandey with distinction Aiden Parker Akib Patel Leticia Pema Emilio Pera with distinction Kemisezo Pagati Kizo Pakedi Sijin Philip Christopher Petersa Tony Pers François Potriter Fallon Pretorius Cameron Purden Mbali Khatebe Zamafunze Khatebe Keegan Roger 
Adam Randall Mika Rankin Gustav Rappard Alexia Raptakis Chilidzi Rabuali with distinction Jason Rowe Megan Rankin Alexander Ritter Brandon Robertson Ashley Russell Lisedi Salewe Genevieve Sandwell Sabrina Santos de Cavallo Ciara Scheide Kurt Schimper Julien Skuman Pietrus Skuman Cora Schultz Cherise Scutter Josiame Sianejo Dineo Sibola Tabiso Siete Tike Slepe Kitumezi Sitzedile Devosh Shah Priam Shah Reina Sheikh Pilisiwe Shinga Chifiwa Shonisani Kindness Sibanda Elena Sobi Ryan Sims Harish Sing Kahiso Stole Jason Song Mohmed Sopariwala Laura South Sunay Stander Scott Stienkamp Cameron Stevenson Dane Stewart Sinai Strubel Ludmilla Subramanian Gareth Swallow Lekita Swart Lindsay Swart Yasira Tayub Austin Teixeira Bonolo Tuane Taylor Ann Thorburn Mpumelelo Tuala Huizione Cladi Mashodi Tlo Fezile Shabalala Humozo Shabalala Zumbezo Chivenga Medea Ukei Abu Bakr Valley Arusha van Arsen Zanel van Bouillon Louise van den Berg Karel van der Merwe Janai van der Waal Christian van der Walt Jerry van der Riel Ilandri van Dijk Rwandu van Roy Bennert van Skalkwijk with distinction Iriska van Skalkwijk Mikhail van Skalkwijk with distinction Tristan van Skalkwijk with distinction Luan van Strijp Eghart van Sayo Caleb Virgitin Annemarie Vermaak Beatrice Vermaak Amanda Vermeulen Michai Voges 
Erin Walker, Cameron Waterson, Christine Weber with distinction, Reuben Wise, Alison Wenzel, Helena Wilcox, Emma Woodstock. Tazana Zondwane Tandiwe Zulu Achievement Awards BDO Prize Lisedi Montuedi Russell Lobser JSE Prize Mikhail van Skalkwijk Let us give our graduates a big hand for their hard work and perseverance. I would like to thank the families, friends and spouses for supporting our graduates during their studies. We have now come to the end of the proceedings. Please join us in singing the national anthem. By the powers vested in me, I hereby dissolve this assembly of the University of Pretoria. Amen. Yeah.